We'll take a look at what's new inside eDrawings 2017. eDrawings is a really nice way to communicate your design. It will allow the user to take your model, explode it, move the components around, measure between faces or points on components, and also section to get a really good understanding of your design. In terms of what's new inside the 2017 release, we now have more file types that we can open. So for example, we can now open up Autodesk Inventor files and tier V5 files natively. I'm just gonna go ahead and open up an Inventor assembly. And you can see it comes through no problem at all and will essentially behave like any other eDrawings file. So for example, if I wanted to take the cover and open it, you can see I can reveal in the batteries. And also if I wanted to measure it, for example, I can take two entities and I can measure between them like so. As well as Inventor and Katir files, we now have the option to open up uh, neutral file formats such as 3D XML, STEP and IGIS. In terms of the STEP file, we support STEP AP242 and this will bring through the manufacturing information that has been saved with the model. So if you're sending this to a supplier, he's gonna have that, all the manufacturing information required to manufacture the part that you've sent. We also have an option now where we can go normal to the face, very much like SolidWorks has. So to summarize, we can now open Katir V5 and Inventor files. We support 3D XML, IGIS and STEP242 formats. We can go normal to a selected plane. You can now password protect files with eDrawing standard. Previously, this was only available in eDrawings Professional. We now have Google Cardboard support and we've seen significant performance improvements since 2016 SP4. Thank you.